Hello, I'm Phil Constantine, and this is a special edition of Travels with Phil. You see the entire United States here? Well, this is a special trip that's going to go across the country, and it's a story of the tale of the traveling taco. Yep, the traveling taco by me, Phil Constantine. I accompanied the taco on this trip. And where is it going? What's happening here? Well, we're going to start in San Diego, go up the West Coast through the mountain states, the desert southwest through the central part of the country, down to Florida along the East Coast, and end up over in Cleveland. So from San Diego to Cleveland, the story of me and the taco. And starting here in San Diego, that's Eagle Rock. And so what happened was on this trip, Taco came along on the trip and I came along with the taco here and the taco decided to explore the country, going to all kinds of different places. September 6, 2017, travels with Phil, pretty much at the base of Vernal Falls, or at least even with it. And also in Yosemite, Half Dome, Nevada Falls. Taco got up at the top of the falls there. Hey, going through San Francisco, the Golden Gate, Alcatraz in the background, San Francisco over on the right. This is in Muir Park where the picture was taken. Lots of snow still up there. And that's the southern face. So that's the one that would more likely melt the, just due to sunlight. It's the northern face in the northern hemisphere. You wouldn't expect the taco to like the cold weather, but it did. All right, looking around. Well, where else are we going to go next? Go out was Weed, California. Now Crater Lake, tooling along. Mount St. Helens in Washington. It fell into a part of the creek down there. Getting a little water, hiding between the rocks in Oregon. Kurt Cobain's childhood home in Aberdeen, visiting inside, looking out the window. Yep, didn't like the traffic in the back of that truck there in Seattle. Hmm, you can walk across the border here, just a little ditch. And this is Lake Diablo, or Diablo Lake. Taco thought it was too cold, windy. And speaking of cold, uh, Glacier National Park. Oh, he was getting wet. The taco was getting wet, tried to jump around a little bit, keep from getting wet. And then suddenly there are animals out here in Yellowstone. Is this a good spot to be? That was their wolves and a bear. Oh, better get out of here. Next, well, you gotta be careful where you just stand around. You know, one of these big critters may come up and decide to eat you. And then moving south into the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. Beautiful view out there. Go a little hiking. And then do some hiking at the base in Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Hey, Lincoln wanted to say hi. I don't know if he wanted to just say hi. Here we are with Crazy Horse. They're going to do a drawing out here, a sculpture. And not too far from there, Jewel Cave. That was interesting. Colorado, the Garden of the Gods, even though it's misspelled. Canyons over there on the left-hand side. As far as I know, that's Mount uh, Princeton. Somewhere out here is Yale and Harvard, I think, over there, over those two. Here we are in the Colorado National Monument in the western side of Colorado. And then Bonneville Soft Flats, but a little bit of rain gives a couple of inches. Looks like a big lake. And then the Capitol Reef Bird Trail, trail looks like uh, dinosaurs out there. The Grand Gallery, ancient Indian drawings, American Indians. Goblin Valley, they look like a bunch of mushrooms. It's an interesting spot. Long twisting turns of the San Juan River. And here's the four corners where four states all come together. We talk about like that. And Shiprock in the Navajo Reservation. And this is Monument Valley, also in the Navajo Reservation. Remember all those John Wayne movies. The Wave in Arizona. I decided to pose with Taco there. That's what it looks like. This guy brought his own. Just to prove it's not a voiceover. <laughs> there we are. Scout Lookout in Zion. Ah, the Grand Canyon sunrise. That was cold out there. Taco didn't like it. And then in Tucson, wasn't quite so cold there. And the Pima Air and Space Museum. Then the Gila Cliffs National Monument there. The ranger brought his own taco. Trinity Site, famous for World War II. At Carlsbad Caverns, this is the natural entrance. You can see some lights there in 
the back a little bit. This is the natural entrance, although they've you know, put the zigzag trails to get in here. Well, you can plant Cadillacs, but I don't know if they'll grow. Taco thought it was fun. Wyatt Earp statue in Dodge City. Wyatt Earp, famous lawman, and the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, Missouri, right on the Mississippi, and the world's largest ketchup bottle in Collins, Illinois. Taco climbed up there. Superman, hey, Superman said, let me have that taco. Hey, who's gonna argue with Superman? The Fame Studios, lots and lots of musicians are recorded there. And this is the Marshall Space Flight Center and U.S. Space Camp in Alabama. They were hungry. And so we went over to Florida, Cape Kennedy. Taco took a ride. And then Cape Hatteras going up the shoreline into North Carolina. But there's more than just that there. That's where birthplace of Pepsi Cola is, New Bern, in the windows. And the Wright Brothers' first flight, these marks how long their flights lasted. Jamestown in Virginia. There's Pocahontas with a taco. And the Natural Bridge in Virginia, an enormous one. U.S. Capitol. Taco did some climbing there. Hey, Lincoln. Lincoln wanted to shake hands. He liked it. The Liberty Bell. Hey, everybody brought their tacos there. And speaking of that, had the Colonial Band. They all brought their tacos as well. Times Square, you can see it in one of the ads. Uh, downtown New York City, and from the top of the Empire State Building, what a view. Taco liked that one. Bunker Hill in Boston, hmm, getting in the spirit. And this is the green monster on the right-hand side, Fenway Park in Boston. Yep, a few folks brought their tacos and taco visited. And shook hands with the Minuteman Park statue. Plymouth Rock, where the pilgrims landed? Hmm, interesting. Ben and Jerry's up in Vermont. Took a little tour there around the map and the thing. And Niagara Falls, Canada, in the upper right-hand corner out there. So twice into Canada. And this is where Punxsutawney Phil lives for Groundhog's Day. Finally, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. The ending point for the tour through the United States. Elvis's gold to suit. Brought his own taco. Cleveland rocks. There's a taco in this picture as well. Got to find it. Hi, Sarah. You can see I'm in Cleveland. You see I've got a taco. Put them together, what do you got? Mmm. A taco in Cleveland. Just for you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.